Many students ask me, and other career counselors, if they need a cover letter. My answer is, a good cover letter can only help you. I understand that cover letters can be painful to write, and there is no guarantee that the hiring manager will read it. But let's say that the hiring manager is deciding between you and another equally qualified candidate. You have submitted a tailored cover letter, while the other candidate did not submit a cover letter at all, or perhaps instead a generic one. As the hiring manager, who would you invite for an interview? A good cover letter demonstrates to a hiring manager your writing skills, a bit more about your personality and tone of voice, and how your previous experience and acquired skills will specifically enable you to contribute to this role at this company. The goal of the cover letter and the resume combo is to get the interview. And in order to do that, you need to excite and inspire the reader about you as a candidate. Wait a minute. Before you start typing away, you need to do some research first about the position. Highlight the major requirements, skills, and experiences the employer has listed for the position. Then, go back over those qualifications that you highlighted and circle the key skills and experiences that are your strengths. Really, this should be the two or three qualities that are both most important to the key functions of the job and your strongest attributes. Once you have all the points highlighted, now you can start structuring your cover letter. I've also asked my purple pet squirrel, Harry, to give you some advice. The main sections of your letter are the header, anecdote, evidence, interest, and the closer. The header of your letter should include the company's name, address, date, and person to whom you are addressing the letter to. The first paragraph is the most important. Many cover letters start out with the standard, I am very interested in applying to position A that I saw posted on website B. Not terrible, but certainly not exciting. You need to start out with something unique and memorable about yourself, an anecdote which will help you to stand out. You certainly can and should mention the position to which you are applying. Just make sure that your anecdote supports why you would be an excellent candidate for the role. In the next one or two paragraphs, you need to provide proof that you are qualified for this role. Provide evidence by sharing those accomplishments which are most relevant to the position, such as completed projects or professional milestones. Talk about your interest in this specific role at this specific company. You want to demonstrate that you and the company are a good fit. Make a reference to an interaction you have had with a company professional, an industry or company that the company works closely with, or you have an interest or area of expertise, or an interesting storyline you have been following. Finally, use the closer to thank the manager for taking the time to read the letter and leave your contact information in case they want to reach out to you. Now that you know what to do, start crafting your cover letter and you too can be a purple squirrel, like Harry. Make sure to visit a career advisor to go over your letter today here at the GCMC.